Hey everyone, I'm here with Chad. First of all, congratulations on the, the brown. It's been a long time coming. Oh, thank you. How I long has it been? Well, uh, I, I, I guess going on 20 years, but <laughs> really um, maybe 12 to 15 years of consistent training. Okay. So just to give hope to all those people out there who are going like, I've been a blue belt for three years. Well, you were a, a, not a brown belt for almost 20 years. Yeah, so. and a blue belt for 13, so. Okay. That's not absolutely the world record. I think Eric Paulson was a blue belt for almost 20 years. Really? Yeah. So he, I think he has you beat. <laughs> I'm not sure he did the exact amount of time, but I think it's yeah. more than 13. But bottom line is really, really, really good people don't get promoted for a long time for whatever reason. And the goal is just to be the best, be the best blue belt you can. Or just yeah. kick the asses of all the purple, brown, and black belts and they'll have to promote you eventually. Well, smaller target made it a lot easier for me to try and do that. No. Doesn't True. mean I did. How do you enjoy the bullseye that's on your back now? Well, it's, it's got the, it's all the purple belts try and take out a brown belt. It's definitely gotten bigger. There's no doubt about it. But uh, if anything, it's uh, made me want to step my game up even more okay. because I got it. I don't want anyone tapping me out that's uh, below my below me, and it's not the best way to think about it. But we all we all and think that way. We all have ego. Yes. Um, so just before we train, I wanted to show the guys something. This was a concept that Marcus Suarez showed to me back when I started training in the late. 90s, formerly training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, we had this idea of you're in the guard and you have to, okay, you're going to use this kind of guard, you're going to use that kind of guard, and the idea that you don't actually have to stay in the guard was a total mind blower, because one night, Marcus taught a technique, stand up please, chat, and it was something like this, like, how do you stop the guy from passing your guard uh, when you have him in open guard? And Marcus's answer was to get a grip across the collar, across the lapel, Basically, put this row of knuckles yes. right yeah. in the collarbone, which hurts, and sit up here. And then from here, do the top secret technique of technically standing up and now going for the throw. So, if you just turn like this, please. And it's an option that you should keep in mind. You don't have to stay in the guard. <clears throat> yes, if the guy's standing up here, there are all kinds of you know, spider guard type things that you can do. Delaheba type guard things that you can do, other you know standard open guard, but if you don't want to do that, you can just make some room. And one good way to do that is to grab the lapel. I'm not putting this row of knuckles into his collarbone. I'm putting this row of knuckles in. Kick him away a little bit. Sit up here. I'm basing off the ground. So now if he pushes into me, yeah, he drives through the okay. Even if I'm just here, go ahead, push. Yep. I'm pretty structurally strong. I'm not using Very muscle here. And even just lean on me, please. Even though you're leaning on me with almost all your weight, I can stand up quite easily. Now, that, of course, does rely on you having decent judo to take the guy down or, you know, even pulling guard again. If you're getting up in a situation where the guy's beginning to pass your guard, go ahead, right? He's beginning to pass your guard. I can make that frame, come back to my feet, and now, say my, my guard game is a deep half, I can shoot, go ahead, I can shoot for guard from standing. So, just something to keep in mind. It really helped me, it's helped other people, this idea that just because you're in guard doesn't mean that you need to stay in guard. Think about incorporating the stand-up. Of course, it's got huge self-defense implications, and we'll talk about those another day. But even from a pure sport of jiu-jitsu, getting out of the mindset that you're in guard, you have to stay in guard, I think is a super valuable idea. Subscribe, putting out new stuff all the time, and you want the new stuff to show up in your YouTube feed.